Good afternoon. Today is uh, Wednesday, October 16th, 2019. It's 2.30 p.m. Uh, we're here for a scheduled meeting of the Port County Election Board. I would uh, ask everyone to please silence their phones. Um, and then there is a sign-in sheet available on the podium for minutes purposes. If you could make sure you sign in prior to leaving today, that would be fantastic. Amber, will you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all for all. <coughs> Roll call. Andrew Volts as chairman is present. Amber Poff. Present. Kathy Krobach. Not present. We have a quorum. The first item on the agenda is approval of the meeting minutes from the October 3rd, 2019 um, Report County Election Board meeting. Do I have a motion? So moved. Um, is there a second? I'll second. Okay, having a motion and a second, all in favor signify by indicating the approval of the minutes as aye. 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 New business. Um, the board was contacted by uh, the citizens for a united, unified Long Beach, excuse me, that there were some uh, types of disclaimer violations um, with campaign materials that had been distributed by the Long Beach party. Uh, Kathy received this, this um, letter from the citizens for United Unified Long Beach and Kathy, if you want to kind of run with this a little bit because you've done some digging into this. Yeah, I uh, I received uh, this complaint letter first of last week, and attached to the letter was um, copies of advertising, and the letter was turned in to me in person copies of advertising, um, there were door hangers, um, copies of their yard sign from the Long Beach Party, and three advertisings in, I believe, the Beecher, which was October 10, October 3rd, and September 26th advertising uh, the Long Beach Party and the members of the party to vote on uh, um, November 5th. None of them had disclaimers on them, as is the law. And I did insert for everyone the flyer that is distributed by the state of Indiana, um, and every candidate receives that flyer. And the specific Indiana code that uh, this is referencing is Indiana code 3932.5. There's a requirement for a disclaimer which identifies who paid for certain political material and whether any candidate approves of the material. If the material is paid for someone or paid for by someone than the other candidate. Um, the issue here is that there is a penalty for circulating or publishing literature or other material without the required disclaimer, and that is a Class A misdemeanor under Indiana Code 31413, and a Class A misdemeanor in the state of Indiana carries fines and penalties um, of up to a $5,000 fine or one year in jail or both, as well as a civil penalty of up to $1,000 may also be imposed for a disclaimer which is not presented in a clear and conspicuous manner. Um, with regards to the materials that were presented to the board, there is no disclaimer on, on the door hangers. There is no disclaimer on uh, the ads that were contained within the Beecher. And the specific example of political materials and literature requiring disclaimers are specifically newspaper advertisements, billboards, signs, posters, yard signs, portable billboards, brochures, leaflets, circulars, and letterhead as well as direct mail sent mail pieces sent to more than 100 persons. And again, this is all information that is contained in the uh, disclaimer requirement brochure that was distributed to all parties and all candidates um, prior to, to the campaign season beginning. Now, for local candidates, the complainant must file a written complaint with the appropriate county election board or prosecuting attorney. 
as we're not talking about a statewide or state legislative candidate, there would be no filing downstate with the Indiana Election Commission. Comments? So there's no, under the statute, there's no remedy that the election board can provide. Correct. The remedy is through the prosecuting attorney's office. We are not a legislate or excuse me, a judicial body that can impose uh, sanctions. We have no authority under Indiana law to, to in fact levy a fine or or put somebody in jail for. I mean that, that's not the that's not the the or that's not the the purpose of the election board. Kathy, do you have anything? No, I, I mean, I brought it to your attention because it was filed with me. Certainly, certainly. Um, um, again, the, uh, the disclaimer requirement is a little flyer that everyone receives. It, it talks about uh, everything that has to do with requirements as a candidate um, and things that you have to do as far as filing and communicating. And um, I had to pull that out because at the time it was filed with me, I knew that the state law changed, and I can't remember if it was 2016 or what, but it was a state law that was enacted, and then I pulled it out and I, I gave it to you for review. Certainly. Um, so it would appear that, that there there isn't any other remedy that we can provide as we're not in the business of issuing, um, you know, charges. Um, so I would make a motion that, that this board advise the complainant um, that if they desire, they can pursue charges with the LaPorte County prosecuting attorney. I mean, I, I see I see a clear violation here, but I, I don't know that there's anything, there's no smack on the wrist that we can offer. I think, I think, I, 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 I do agree. Um, I think obviously the, <clears throat> the Long Beach party has now been made well aware of the fact that this disclaimer requirement is required under the law. Um, and and obviously you can't lock the barn after the horses have left because these things have already been distributed. Um, I don't know if possibly recalling the information or or adding some kind of addendum. Kathy, you had some experience, I think, with this in 2016, right? You had to add add additional information. Um, I know that um, I can't remember what year, but sometime when I ran for office. At the beginning it wasn't, at the end it was, and I had to order stickers and have stickers attached to all my signs and whatnot to comply. It was at the beginning, I think it went into effect in July, so in the May primary it wasn't effective. But and you'd already ordered your materials. Yeah. So. And again, the, the requirements concerning um, size color font etc etc is all laid out very very clearly in in this brochure that is published by the indiana election division um it's not legalese i mean certainly it does cite to the indiana code but the requirements are, are specifically laid out as far as when a disclaimer is required where the disclaimer must appear what the disclaimer has to state um, and then the size and color contrast requirements. They're, they're all laid out there, so it should not be hard to bring these materials into compliance. Or, in, in the alternative, um, publish new materials. So, there's a motion, that mo your motion was completed, correct? Correct. Can you restate it, please? Yeah, I would make, an, make a motion that this board advise the complainant um, that if they so desire, they could pursue charges with the LaPorte County Prosecuting Attorney. And, and by pursue charges, can you clarify that a little bit just for the record? Right. It looks like um, the applicable, you know, the, the, the possible charge in this instance, if the Prosecuting Attorney's Office so desired to follow up with it, would be, um, you know, up to a Class A misdemeanor. So a motion is on the table. Um, I will second the motion that uh, we advise the chair or the entire Citizens for a Unified Long Beach uh, movement to take their
complaint which was filed or which was presented to uh, the clerk as a member of the election board and take those materials to the prosecuting attorney's office um, specifically as directed in in the uh, the, the, dis the disclaimer um, brochure. So having a motion and a second, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, all opposed? And there are no oppositions. Board member comments? Yeah, I, I think that um, it sounds like the remedy is fairly simple. We're, we're asking for a disclaimer. You need to disclose your, your, your financing. Um, well, and just to be clear, we're not asking for it. The state of Indiana requires, requires it. Um, and I realize that fairly simple comes with the caveat of now you've got to go find all of these materials and, and update them. Um, but, you know, it, it seems like seems like an issue that could be overcome. Kathy, do you have any comments? No, I don't. And I don't have any comments. So uh, next item on the agenda is the adjournment. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. A second. Okay, all in favor of adjourning this meeting, signify by saying aye. 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 Meeting adjourned.